Today, we are going to cover the basics, making a track in 15 minutes using the Tracker Plus. This time, we'll focus on samples and one shots. Here is what we're creating. I've already loaded all my instruments into the project to have a palette of sounds to start working with. While the instrument button is selected but not in record mode, I can preview all the sounds of my instruments on the pads. I've selected a kick drum. I'm pressing the instrument parameters to tune and filter my kick drum. I'm adding a high pass filter with some resonance to create a punchier bass heavy kick. Now I'm ready to record the kick and snare live. First I'll stretch the pattern to 64 steps. With the yellow instrument button selected, I can punch in the drums by pressing play while holding record. Now I'll add some hats. I'll set step jump to 4 to quickly add hats on every offbeat. Now I want to add some swing to this track. I'll insert the swing FX at the start of track 2. This is a global effect. So all tracks will now be swung. I'll add a few more secondary hi-hats for groove. I'll use track 3 to add a few more drum hits with a reverse cymbal to end and an impact with reverb to start the pattern.
now I'll work on the melody and bass, just quickly recording a couple of stabs. I'll use two instruments here. I'll make sure the instrument is selected, then hold record and press play. Next, I'll add some bass. I can practice by turning record off and pressing the note key to play notes on the grid pad. It is currently set to play notes chromatically, but you can customize the grid pads and filter by scale. Now I'll press record and play. I'm going to try to experiment with a few bass lines. Now that I'm happy with the track, I'm going to extend this loop from 64 to 128 steps. I'll press more, then press duplicate pattern to copy the loop and expand it to 128 steps. I'll remove my impact from step 65, so it only hits on the first step. I want to adjust the level on the bass track. I'll press the master button twice to pull up the sample track mixer. I'll hold the black button below track 5 and turn the jog wheel to turn the bass down slightly. I'm going to live record a few of these vocal chops now. Now I want to adjust some parameters of this vocal sample. First I'll press the instrument parameters button, turn the volume down a bit, and then press more to get to the effects section. I added some delay and reverb. Next, I'm adjusting the delay parameters by pressing master and then selecting delay. I'm going to record in a couple plucky hits here. First, I'm going to cut the start of the sample by selecting the sample playback button. I'll remain in one shot mode and just move the playback starting point.
and I'll record this, adjust the volume, reverb and delay. Next I'll add some automation by pressing instrument parameters twice. I'm adding a triangle wave LFO to the fine tune to add pitch variation and panning. Next, I'm going to use the fill mode to add hi-hats. I'll hit shift and up to select all steps on track 7. Then with the instrument parameter selected, I'll press fill, select each end constant. Then I will choose instrument 12, my hats. Now I'll add some volume variation by pressing FX1 and fill in the parameters. I'll add a volume effect every two steps. I selected a value of 5, but I can change it with the track selected by moving the jog wheel. Now I'll add some finishing touches. Under the master menu, I'll add some bass boost and space for more stereo spread. Then I'll make a few volume adjustments and EQ and limit the changes. I'll sidechain the pattern to the kick. Selected tracks are highlighted in red and effects are punched in with four options for each effect on the pads underneath. 